Okay, so there's a lot of complaints about gunbreakers and their invulnerability and how blah 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 wah 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 you killed yourself as a gunbreaker and how it's so difficult because of how much damage it does. So I want to see just just how much of that health can be recovered from the gunbreaker uh, themselves. So, in this situation where you're going to use your invulnerability, how much recovery does a gunbreaker actually have? Well, they have Aurora, which is an 18 second regen. So you can get 8 seconds of that in your invulnerability, and you have your 1, 2, 3 combo, which heals you and adds a barrier to your health, right? So let's say you're a smart player, right? And you pop your keen edge before invulling. Alright, let's look at our health here. Alright, so we're going to Invul, Aurora, Brutal Shell. Alright. Alright, and that's it. You can get around 46, 44 to 46,000 health. Roughly 25% plus of your own HP back from 1 HP. I think this is interesting to note because unlike something like Dark Knight where you have to heal 100% of the damage dealt as a healer or else they die, on Gunbreaker they should be healing 25% of that health on their own. Unless of course they're using Aurora to strategically heal other players. But usually people use it on themselves. You know, when you get to higher end skill caps, you'll see people doing other stuff with Aurora, but typically they put it on themselves as a cooldown, right? So 25% of that HP is the Gunbreaker healing himself. That means that as a healer, you only have to heal enough to keep them alive through regular auto attack damage, maybe a mechanic or two, depending on the boss after that. You could probably heal them with no single target heals. You could probably just use OG CDs and they'd be just fine most of the time. There's a couple fights where that might not be the case. A couple situations too, you know, based on what's going on, they might superbolide right before a big hit so that it wears off and then it's like, oh, you really gotta like sneak in a big heal. That's where your cooldowns as a healer come into play for those clutch situations, but 99% of the time, you don't have to do much to keep a Gunbreaker alive through super Superbolide. Unless, of course, they Superbolide and they are AoEing. That's a little bit different. If you're AoEing on Gunbreaker after Superbolide, you only have Aurora and you don't have Brutal Shell. So if it's an AoE pull Superbolide, you're going to have to do a lot more healing as the healer. But again, it's probably, instead of them getting to 25%, they're probably going to be around 10 to 15%, I would suspect. Not like a massive difference, but you are going to have to pop a little bit more healing to keep them up. Again, you don't need to use Benny. <laughs> like, Benny is not actually necessary unless you're struggling to deal with other damage, like raid-wide damage on top of it. And I think that's just, uh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know. So, uh, you know, Paladin, immune's all damage. Warrior is probably a lot harder to heal than this. Um, Dark Knight is harder to heal than this. So it's actually not that bad. Alright, goodbye.